I have a video for you. Ready? It's a seven letters word. It is greater than God, more evil than the devil. Poor people have it, rich people need it, and if you will eat it, you will probably die. Nothing, nothing is greater than God. Nothing is more evil than the devil. Poor people have nothing, rich people need nothing, and if you eat nothing, you die. Simple, right? Even a kid can solve it. My name is Jonathan Simon, and I'm a high school student. And during high school, I found many major vulnerabilities at the most secured companies out there, including Google, eBay, Red Hat, and Adobe. I've been certified by these companies. As an example, I'm listed in the Google Hall of Fame. The first question that people ask me is why? Why? Because I can. We live in the information age. Your car, your house, your identity are all recorded at the government databases. But how difficult it is to access this type of information. How many of you have an eBay account? Almost everyone. So here's the story. I was goofing around eBay website the other day, and I noticed a very interesting feature that allows you to attach a file to a comment. When you attach a file, you basically upload your file to eBay servers, which is perfect because that's exactly what I needed in order to get my code into eBay servers. Hence, I was able to access any account. Incredibly simple, because everyone assumed that the system will deny such an obvious vulnerability. So how do you find these types of security issues? There are two rules. The first rule, the first thing you do is you keep it simple. You think like a kid. Which brings me to the second rule. When everyone is thinking outside the box, you take the box. Take Eber as an example. To exploit the vulnerability was as easy as attaching a file to an email. We are so obsessed with complexity, we miss these simple things. These simple things are sometimes the most critical security issues. Another interesting case is how a 15 years old was able to access any Netflix account, but this time without using a single line of code. He found out that if you call Netflix, and provide name and email address, that's all you need in order to change any one password. And they will tell you the new password over the phone. <laughs> Netflix account may have a credit card attached to them. And that's what social engineering is all about. You manipulate a person to give you confidential information. Well, anyone could have done it. Any one of us could have done it. eBay, Google, and many other companies offer hackers rewards for reporting potential security issues to continually improve the security. The government services, those who store your most valuable and confidential information, do not offer these types of activities. Which brings me to the last and most interesting question. How difficult it is to hack the government databases? That is it. A 12 years old is able to do it. If you think you're safe, think again. We have a tremendous problem, and we need to find a solution. 
If a kid is able to access the government databases and change your information regarding your car, your house, your identity, you basically end up with nothing. Thank you very much. <laughs>